What's going on guys? It's Kyle. Welcome to the Stocko YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to be doing another update on the SoFi stock. It has been a wild ride the past four to five weeks on this stock. Non-stop selling pressure. It looks like we are getting close, but we also had you know a little bit of manipulation today in the market that we're going to look at. And we'll also cover two articles that are coming out. This is good for the SoFi stock. You know, the more attention it gets, you know, the more investors are going to, you know, end up going long on this stock. So if you feel any of this information gives you any better insight on the SoFi stock, be sure to subscribe to the channel. I'll be keeping you updated daily with all the growth stocks and spec plays. There's going to be a lot of great information coming out. And you don't want to miss it. Let's get into the video. So guys, if we look at that one month chart, once again, you know, three weeks plus nonstop selling pressure. I mean, we've seen this happen multiple times and dozens and dozens of SPAC stocks, the IPOs, pretty much any initial run up is gonna get absolutely battered for weeks, even months. You know, Coinbase and Snowflake, those sold off for three to four months because they were inside of that inflation headline. But right now, that inflation headline is kind of slowing down. So some of these stocks today are breaking out inside of the market. But if we look at the red today on this really green day inside of the market, there was very, very minimal red. As we can see right here, we scroll down. SoFi was one of the top 10 losers coming in at 1%. I mean, but as you can see right here, this is one of the very few stocks in the red. Look, everything else was green. So SoFi looks like it's getting its final kind of nail in the coffin to the retail investors. Anyone day trading this right now or doing weekly calls pretty much is losing out on money because if you look at that one day chart, this is where they got people. Look at this one day chart. Halfway through the day, at 11 a.m., they pumped this over $17 plus and just absolutely took it down. Look at that. The rest of the day on Friday, putting you in the red at the end of the day, down 1%. Guys, this is complete you know, hedge fund manipulation. They wanted people to buy this run up in the morning and you know, finish out the weekly calls you know, with a hard, hard sell-off just to make sure you know, any people trading this stock just got hammered. But the thing is, I've been telling people to buy this stock at anywhere in the price range of 16, 17, 18 for the past three weeks. And once again, we have not touched $15 yet. If you touch, if you look at that five day chart, this stock has not dropped into the 15s yet. You know, there's a lot of people waiting on 13, 14s, 15s. It could happen, but it's not a guarantee. You want to get an initial position started inside of the stock just in case it doesn't drop, you know, that low and the stock, you know, uh, begins to rally. But right now, I'm going to be honest with you, there's not a lot of catalyst in place with the SoFi stock. They could have dropped, you know, some headlines since the merger. There's really no catalyst you know, besides the earnings, which is probably going to take over a month to come out. So so the selling just has to get exhausted for the stock to make a comeback. And it looks like, you know, the bottom may be very, very close right now if we're looking at that five-day chart. But once again, anything in the $16, $17 range is a buy right now. You can wait and take that risk, of course, you know, wait for, you know, 13, 14, 15. It could definitely easily happen, but it's always good to get a position started. And once again, with options inside of my VIP Patreon group. You can take a look at the link below. I've been telling everybody for months and months and months, you want to keep your portfolio to 70 to 75% stocks. So whatever you're willing to risk inside of the stock market, you know, 100% of your investment, 75% of that should be in solid stocks, okay? 25% is what you should risk on options because let's say you go 100% all in on some options, even do some longer call options and they all get burnt. You just lost all of your investment and you're going to have to start from scratch. So it's okay to take some hits on options if you only put 25% of your position in options. So that's what I recommend and I think that is the absolute best way to play it. 75% stocks, 25% options. That's what I'm doing right now. And the options have been looking rough because I've been buying at the bottom. But the thing is, if a stock goes down when you purchase your options, obviously the options are going to just get absolutely, you know, battered for, you know, the time being. Even if a stock, even if a stock sits, 
you're still going to get that nasty decay on your options. And even if it doesn't go up or down, you're still going to lose, you know, very, very fast on the options if it sits for one, two, three, four, five months. And that's what these hedge funds have really been doing to a lot of companies, just like SoFi. They just continue to bring it down. But once it gets penned, you're pretty much screwed if you have, you know, 100% of your investment in the option. So I recommend to go way, way out, you know, try to buy into 2022 for any company. There's no reason to be day trading weeklies right now inside of this market. A lot of these hedge funds are not putting in long positions on these growth stocks right now. That's why so many SPACs are just sitting at 10, 11, 12, 13 dollars. And SoFi could definitely come down even further, but right now, that bounce we had today was a very good sign, you know, coming off that 1620 to that 1720. That was a good sign of a little bit of strength at the 16 mark, but they definitely were looking for that for sure. As you can see, this is just four or five hours of nonstop selling. So they got us today. That's for sure. One of the only losers inside of the stock market today over 1%. That's absolutely crazy to me because the market was absolutely on fire. And guys, other stocks that I've been talking about, you know, trying to do some comparison about IPOs, you know, like that Snowflake stock. This stock absolutely rallied today almost 8%, guys. This is up to an $80 billion market cap. If you look at SoFi stock, this is at a $13 billion market cap right now. I mean, it's getting absolutely insane right now, you know, how much manipulation in the market there is. And it's really starting to piss me off, to be honest. But I'm not going to get shaken out by these hedge funds. I'm going to hold my positions. I'm going to stay long and wait for these stocks to begin to rally because it will happen because we did the due diligence and the research on these companies to make sure that they're highly, highly growth stocks heading towards profitability, heading towards EBITDA, everything good inside of a stock. That's what we're recommending on this channel. So as you can see, the manipulation today was pretty nasty. Some good news is we got some Motley Fool articles. This one just came out yesterday. Two back stocks that I'm buying right now, and that is SoFi, helping more people reach financial independence. The modern take on banking is winning over lots of new customers. As of the end of the first quarter, it had 2.28 million members, and an increase of 110% year over year. That growth was in part driven by SoFi more than doubling the number of financial products it has available. It's Galileo Financial Technology, which offers software for digital payments and digital banking enablement, had 70 million accounts at the end of Q1, a 130% year over year increase. This is what you want to be looking for, guys. And we've once again been going over the financials. Banking and finance aren't exactly the highest growth industries. And SoFi stock currently trades for more than 14 times 2021 expected revenue. Management is Management is guiding for revenue to rise 58% to 980 million in 2021. The bank is also barely profitable on adjusted basis. 2021 adjusted earnings before interest tax depreciation EBITDA are anticipated to be $27 million for approximately 3% profit margin. So a lot of good things are happening with the SoFi stock. That's just one article that came out on the Motley Fool. This is a brand new article that came out yesterday as well. Luke Longo buy SoFi stock for strong growth as it nears technical floor. And that's what we've been talking about in my YouTube channel the past two, three weeks. Over the past 30 days, SoFi stock has tumbled 30%. This is what I continue to tell people, buy on weakness. But that's no reason to cower now. In fact, we think SoFi's dip is a great opportunity to buy into the SoFi stock for cheap. SoFi isn't just another fintech company trying to create a digital bank to replace Wells Fargo, Bank of America. It's the best fintech company and they've created the best digital bank to date that we believe will eventually replace major banks in the near future. And that's why I believe a lot of this uh, pressure selling is happening right now. The bottom line on SoFi stock, near term weakness resulting from an expanding fintech space is creating a temporary buying opportunity in this long term winter. We are also bullish on the fact that SoFi stock too appears to be approaching a technical bottom. SoFi stock was a bargain around 20, but now it's a steal around 16. The stock has shown strong technical support around the $15 level for several months. We're currently just a dollar above that level, so the downside risk seems to be limited at its current levels. The upside potential, on the other hand, is enormous. So guys, this is what I'm talking about. The high growth is there. 
it looks like the bottom is very close. Even if you haven't, you know, gone in heavy, it's now time to start nibbling at this stock in the $16 range. 16, 17, 18 is the buy range right now. This has not hit the $15 mark, and we had a strong bounce at that 1620 uh, mark, you know, just yesterday, all the way back to 17. So it, it definitely was manipulated today, like I've been saying, you know, with that sell off. I believe that was just, you know, killing the options for the last day today of the week. A lot of people are trading options weekly. Guys, this is definitely a big way to get burned inside of the stock market very, very fast. Keep your options to 25%. You will do fine. Even if you take some hits, you're going to eventually get a winner in the long term. But once again, you know, the price targets on this stock, if we look at tip ranks real quick, the buy ratings still haven't really came in. There's only two analysts covering this stock, but there's 67% upside at this point. Buy ratings are definitely a big part of these hedge funds, you know, tactics, you know, they see big buy ratings. They definitely hammer the stock down very quickly once these buy ratings come out. So buy ratings are a good thing, but they're not necessarily a good thing in the short term because stocks really get beat up when those higher buy ratings come out. That just happened with Neo stock. You know, there's buy ratings up to like $70 now. Three of them just came out and you can see the stock is going red. Once again, this is one of your favorite stocks on the channel. That's why I will always try to do an update on the SoFi stock every three days or so and guys this is a amazing opportunity to be buying right now with 60 percent upside remember this is the nibbling point 16 17 18 there's strong support at 15 we just bounced off of 1620 yesterday they definitely got us today at the end of the day those hedge funds but i'm telling you there will become an opportunity where this stock makes a massive turnaround and i believe that's going to be during earnings so it could take another month and a half to see a strong rally to that upward price of you know 2025 20, but it will happen so stay true to yourself don't get shaken out and just go long on these positions and remember to keep your options to 20 25 percent max you will do fine in the long term be sure to take a look at the link in bio read up on the patreon and see if it's a good fit for you we have over 400 users inside of the patreon i want to say thanks again for all the support we're going to do really good inside of the market this year. It's just going to take some time. So if you felt this video gave you any better insight on the SoFi stock, be sure to subscribe to the channel. I'll be keeping you updated daily with all the growth stocks and spec plays. There's going to be a lot of great information coming out. And you don't want to miss it. Hope you have a great day.